Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn about props with functional component. We can also use props with the class component, but that thing we will learn in the next video. In this video, we will focus only on functional components with props. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will learn theoretically what are props, how we can use props. Example with the functional component. Obviously, we are just focusing on a functional component only. right so we will just check the example in the functional component then we will check out that how we can update the props on a button click and at the last of this video i will ask you a question you can attempt this question in a comment box if you want and i will also provide you the answer of my previous videos interview question and uh, if you just want to join me on insta then here is my insta account id so the first question is what is prop or what are the props basically props are used to transfer the data or send the data from one component to another component right so for example let's say i have this app component and uh, i just created a one more component with the name of users or students and i just want to send some data from app component to it's a child component which is a student component right so we can just send the data with the help of props So now let's see how we can do it. I am just going to create one more component here. So let's say my component name is is student. dot js right, and uh, let's just create a function here, and uh, the function name can be student, right, and uh, just simply create a function with a return statement, and here take a at least a div. right and uh, let's take a one more hr tag h1 tag sorry not hr h1 tag here and just simply put here hello student right so this is a basic component now let's import and use it inside app component so just right here import student from Our component which is which is student. Now let's import it simply, like uh, student, and close it like this. And let's check the output. What we are actually getting here, right? Right. So I actually need to export it. I forgot to export. So just simply put here export default student, right? Now this is working fine. So. uh now let's just define a some style for a moment right just put here style background color now uh, let's say sky blue and uh let's put some margin also let's say margin is like uh, 20 or 10 20 pixel right that's fine why i am putting here because i will just show you the multiple students also like this now you will just find here two student right that's why i just put here some margin and style so that it will just look a little bit cooler right so now what i want i just want to put uh, i want to just send a student name from my app component to student component that how i can send for that let's check a uh, uh, here you can see the property or props this is not actually prop uh, property right this is basically a prop so just put here any name like uh, anil you can use a two way you can just directly send any string or you can just use like an object brackets and uh, we actually we call them a uh, jsx brackets right and uh, we can just simply put here props here right it's not required that you must have to put here only props keyword you can put here x z params whatever you want right it's totally up to you but uh, mostly guys actually use the uh, props so that i am again going to use a props here and now let's make a console dot log and uh, just write here props so what we are getting in this component and let's check out inside console go to the console and here you can see that we got an object and inside object we have a name right so if i am just going to put here a name then you can see that we got a anil here that's great so i can just simply put here hello 
props dot name and now we will just get here hello anil is it hmm, isn't it nice it's great right so again let's say i am just going to make a one more component here and my student name is let's say peter right and now we will get here hello peter and uh, let's say we have another one student if you want let's say priti priti and now we got a third one student right so this is the way okay so can we only send only one props no we can send a multiple props also for example we can just send here a email address right so i'm just going to put here email address like uh, anil at the rate test.com right and uh, we can just make a copy of it with the everyone like peter and like priti and let's put here priti and peter here now i just need to put here or uh, some other tag let's say h2 tag or whatever you want and just put here email and uh, just simply write here props dot email now you can see that we are getting a email again here right that's great all right so we are just able to send only text so can we send some objects and array and also yes we can send anything whatever we want so let's say just put here some uh, other uh, props and here i am just going to use here a double uh, curly braces so one for a jsx and another one for uh, this inner one for object so let's put here address and in address we can just put here let's say delhi or some other city whatever you want to put and uh, let's say mobile and here you can just simply put here 000 right and uh, so that because we are not able to properly properly see them we can just use these props in a next line right and uh, just put it like here and here and uh, let's change some address like noida and uh, gurgaon and 111 and let's say 222 so now whenever you will just print this props then you will just see that lots of props we are getting inside here so you can see that we got our name email and now we get the others and in the other props we have a two more properties so what we how we can show them we can just simply put here like this so let's say we have another h3 tag and uh, let's put here props others dot address and you will just find that we are getting the uh, email uh, sorry I just need to ch change this text also like address right and here it is so this is looking good so now you just get that how we can just uh, use a props and example with the functional component but how we can update so let's say I just want to update some any component so I just want to write here hello on a button click right I just want to make it uh, hello Sidhu as uh, and replacing with the hello until right so how can I do it for that I am just going to make it uh, more simple and uh, just going to remove two stuff from here so that we can just watch it clearly right all right so for that what we need first of all we need a state here and for state what we need we have to import a react so just simply put here import react or if you just want then don't uh, import react actually so just right here from react you can just simply mm, small r you can just simply put here use state right and you can just remove this from here and now just use this uh, okay i already imported that uh, my bad right so i can just simply remove it from here and now what we can do we can just uh, simply write here uh, any const 
and let's take a name of this uh, const and we need actually array one for destructing destructing the name and second one for the update a state update a name right and uh, sorry my bad what i'm actually doing today and uh, now just simply put here use state and here let's put a default name like uh, anil and now just replace this text with a uh, anil uh, sorry with the name and now you will find everything is fine right so for update this i just need a button here so let's define a button and let's just put here uh, some text like update name or something right and you will find the button is per fine here now let's uh, just define a click event on click and on click we need at least uh, some other function or i can just simply use here arrow function so inside this i will just simply put here set name and uh, inside i am just going to put here sindhu right now whenever i will just click on now you can see that we just get hello sindhu how it's actually happen it's just uh, update the state by default name is anil and now the name is sindhu and whenever it will update it the name is actually passed to the props in the name right you can put anything here just say username or student name whatever you want it's not required that the both thing should be same right you can just put anything to this this is a different state so this is the way that how you can update it so now it's time to interview question so in last video i asked that can we use use state hook inside a uh, class component the answer is no we cannot use we can use hooks only in the functional component right and uh, in this video i have a question that can we pass a function like a uh, props so let's say i have a function here function apple right so and it have some data like alert hello or something so can i pass this hello uh, this apple function in a student if yes then how if no then why you can answer it right and i will provide you the provide you the answer of this question in the next video and for that thanks for watching this video and stay tuned bye bye take care